The main function of the Council is to advise the National Commission on Research, Science and Technology on the development and implementation of a national space, science and technologies agenda in all relevant sectors and the existence of the National Space Science Council reflects the country's commitment to advancing science, technology and innovation. I think some of you are aware of the fact that our ministry, in conjunction with the Chinese government, we are actually in the process of seeing to it that a ground research for data collection is being established in our country. And when we talk of data, is data that is actually collected up there by satellites and whatnot, which we need to decode, make sense of it, and see how best it actually feeds the different sectors of our economy for us to have up-to-date data that speaks to our oceans, that speaks to our environment, that speaks to our mining, and so on. Hence, the need for a council such as this, to constantly do research or commission research that actually point to the critical areas that we need to know about as a country. The minister has encouraged stakeholders to embrace the spirit of curiosity, exploration and discovery as Namibia enters new frontiers in space science. We are not an island as Namibia. And when we talk about science, technology, and space, we cannot only look inward. We need to look regionally, continentally, and internationally. In the face of the unprecedented challenges and opportunities, it is imperative that we harness the power of science and technology to address portable water, energy, global issues from climate change to sustainable development. The council comprises six members, Loide Shabarara, Dr. Rian Stienkamp, Dr. Eliakem Hamunyela, Victoria Munenge, Lapan Hiwilepo, and Colonel Peter Demueda. They are appointed on a three-year term, which will end in March of 2027. Emil Seibeb, NBC News, Ventuk.